Welcome everyone, how's it going? Scramble here with another update on Pepecoin price prediction for late December 2024. There is about two weeks left out of this year, so we're looking for discovering what's happening. This is a four hour candlestick chart, and we're going to talk about the internal situation of the market at this specific level. Indeed, Pepecoin has been able to successfully, I would say, generate a breakout of the previous tops. Those tops have been confirmed numerous times acting as a strong supply zone. So that's a clear golden pocket as well, as you can see. But the great part is, is we've been able to convert that into our support, which is kind of preparing the markets for the next movement into the all time high of this cryptocurrency. So in order to talk about that specific time, we definitely don't want to lose the cross between the trending lines and that cross between the trending line appears at 2200 price section. This is the cross basically of the trending lines. You don't want to lose the price section of that cross, which is kind of confirming the other previous top of the previous structure located right there. It is a specific area of the market, which must hold you whatever single price. If you fall below that and you quickly come back, it was just a fake out liquidity grabbing process, nice stop loss touched and all that stories. But if you fall below that and you don't quickly recover within the same candle just by printing a wick below that, you also start printing bodies of the candlesticks. Well, that already becomes a problem because at the time you want to push back, uh, the level might reject you and you don't want to go through that. So once again, fellas, what we're looking for here is obviously uh, moving average is holding us and the 20 days is right exactly where we are. But the way this, you know, four hour candlesticks are facing a temporary rejection at that level is definitely not a big deal. What is important here is to consider the extension to, uh, you know, portray certain targets. I would not target anything for those of you that are on the side of the bullishness. Uh, I would not target anything below 1.60 uh one eight extension and then the number two extension as well of the fibonacci which kind of tells me three thousands and three thousand you know five hundreds will be on the table the movement from here to that point represents about 27 percent obviously this is not discussion about you know all time high in the bull market or you know highest levels that we could achieve i mean when you talk about the highest potential level to speak about it at a time you are far away from the timeline is totally impossible with accuracy. It's totally impossible with accuracy, especially about meme coins. Speaking about BTC is a little bit different, but even there, you know, not only me, everyone that is serious about a technical analysis stuff is having major difficulties speaking uh, based on facts other than just empty speculations about all-time high levels, which are those at a time you are from the time span standpoint away. When you get closer to that point, it is different, which means we have certain levels that we're researching. When we get closer to those levels, we could say this is a potential top. And then if the markets will reverse, it could be confirmed as a top if you don't pretty much bounce back and hit a higher level. So in other words, when you're in an all-time high position, at some point, quite a few tops could be your last one, which is why for those of you that are hunting uh, to be shorting from the top, this is the worst strategy possible. You better short once the top has been established and you try to short from the retest. This is the most efficient way. So once the market is bouncing back and then you see the short energy appears at a level to confirm that was a high and you're ready to go in a bear market from there. This is the proper strategy to go in the crypto space, especially, you know, especially the crypto space. Speaking about, you know, the tops is something I will clearly avoid. In the way BTC looks like and Ethereum and the altcoins, it's clearly not the top. But at the same time, I'm going to underline the fact that for those of you that are expecting just, you know, non-stop movements in the bullish side, uh, by seeing months and months in a row pushing non-stop, this is something wrong. That's not how bull market works. Bull markets do have periods of stagnation, of liquidity rotation, of liquidity grabbing. Of course, a massive waves of liquidations that must appear as well on the chain. People must be wiped out out of the futures. People must be 
uh, made sure that they will remain empty pocket at the end of their experience. So there is all those playgrounds with 20-30% dumps that are appearing from time to time, and then a range forming double bottom structures that will allow you to construct further that must prior appear to see a market continuation in your favor, guys. So that's something that I would definitely underline here, just like in many other places, Pepe Coin is in the same shape. You must get that level, the cross of the trending line holding you. And this is number one condition for us to start uh, considering this is not a temporary top. Because if you don't get that, you're going to revisit your 1,700 lows. And I'm telling you, a lot of the people will get slaughtered in a such, you know, altcoin dump. Another 26% right now is terrible. Although no one wants to talk about, you know, the selling pressure, but that exists and it has to be considered because if you don't protect yourself uh, in front of the, you know, dangerous situations, then whatever money you make is just going to be wiped out. So if you don't know how to protect that money, it's useless to start speaking about how to make money. If you don't know how to keep that money, it becomes zero at some point. Great. That's pretty much all about Pepe, fellas. Have a good time. Enjoy. For those of you that care about proper education in how to become a trader, how to start trading part-time or full-time, I got a one-on-one -on -one coaching program page. Find out more about it by watching the video. And if you're serious about it, only for serious people, intensively with me one-on-one -on, -one on Zoom, I'll take you by hand and teach you how to trade. Register now for a free call and I can show you more. That's pretty much all. We'll talk to you soon.